Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to display your decimal in multiple different modes using uh, the fix, the sigh and the norm mode. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's take this number 25 over 100 and we're just going to put that into a quick little fraction. We've got one quarter. Now, if we go shift exe, we're going to get 0 0.25 as the decimal point now here's where things are going to get a little bit interesting with these three different modes here so we're going to go into settings go into calc settings and go into number format now once you're in number format you can kind of see that right now the calculator is set at norm and two now this is the standard uh, calculator default here so that means when you um, do 25 over 100 then the number would automatically go as a decimal now let's say we go into fix and we can actually fix the number of um, DPs. So for example, if I go into fix, I'm going to have up to nine different options here. So that's nine DP. Let's say we're going to go to go to one DP. So fix one. We're going to put it in there. And what should we do? Let's go back. So right now it says 25 over 100 is 0 0.25. But if I click on EXE again, it's going to convert it back to a fraction, which is a quarter. But because right now this mode here is fixed mode, if I go shift EXE, it actually puts it as 0, 0 0.3. Um, we know it's, in, it's uh, theoretically not correct, but it's actually rounded up to one decimal place. So what about the SEI mode? Now, the SEI mode is like I, I kept sitting there trying to think it was was it scientific notation significant figures um you know what you make a pick there what you want to go with but what i do know is that when i go into settings and i go into number format and go into this sei format let's say i go with sei4 that's basically four significant figures um and written times by 10 to the power of negative or positive or whatever it is right so here i'm going to go four significant figures and let's go back and see what it does. So we've got a quarter, and if I go Shift EXE, so that's going to give me what is it? 2.500 times 10 to the power of negative one. And of course, this was SEI four mode. What if I try? Let's go back and go into settings. We're going to try SCI two settings. Let's try that. Going back, pressing equals as a quarter. And now if I do SCI two, I'm actually getting 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative one. So two significant figures there. Um, yeah, just something to keep in mind. So let's say i want to go back eight divided by nine and i do this and i go shift exe whoa i'm getting this in this particular notation that's because your calculator is still in sei mode we can change it back to normal mode with um, and again there's norm one and two and i'll show you guys what each of them do so when you go into a number format um, if you do forget what the norm one and norm two is it gives you an example of what it is so at the top there it will write this as if the number is less than a particular, I think it was 0.0001. Uh, how many zeros was it? I can't remember. But let's just say, let's go to norm one and just see what happens, all right? So if we go, one, what was it? 25 over 100, quarter. So right now it says 0 0.25, but I think it's when this number is less than a particular we go three four five six seven eight nine ten okay, let's try it that way now that goes to one to the power of uh one times ten to the power of negative ten but if i had had that in norm two i think that will still stay as a decimal but let's just check that nope 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 there we go i think it can only show a certain number of decimal points there uh, but if we want to go 0 0.001, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's just see, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
I think calculators have like nine digits. Anything more than nine digits, yeah, anything more than nine digits, it's gonna go into that, um, yeah, as predicted. I think calculators have like um, 10 digits that they can display um, or nine decimal places. Um, I think anything more than nine decimal places, um, it will rewrite that in a standard form. So we're coming back to our 25 over 100. It is a quarter and right now it is giving me in this particular notation because that's the format that I've actually chosen. So I want it to go back to normal. I want this to be 0 0.25. And the way I do that is go back to settings, calc settings, go into number format, go back down to norm, and we're gonna click on norm two. And once we do that, our number is now returned to 0 0.25. So at norm two, it is gonna give us 0.25. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. Just a quick little one to show you guys the three different number formats available in this particular calculator.